Hello everyone, welcome back to Prime Project Control. In this session, we'll speak about unvalued management and we will also do a demo in Microsoft Project. So what is basically an unvalued management? Unvalued management is say a project as a cost. So we distribute the cost with the series of activities in the project. So cumulative it becomes a budgeted cost of the project. So we need to track this periodically. What is our actual spent and what is the planned value? So if the actual cost and planned value, if both are in line, that the project performance is good. If the actual cost spent is more than the planned value, then the project is underperforming and it's exceeding the cost as per the plan. So in order to track this, we'll carry out unvalue analysis. It's a, like a project control on the, let's go into the details. Like unvalue management is the technique you use to track the project performance in terms of cost against plan or budgeted, which is measured against the baseline basically. A resource loaded project set as a baseline in the program and project performance is tracked by measuring progress and earned value against the budget at completion. What is budget at completion? It's the total cost required to complete the project planned initially. So this whole analysis demonstrates status of the project timely by measuring where are we now and where we are going. Some of the terminologies we need to know are plan value, which is percent of project completed into the into project budget. So actual cost is actual cost up to the update data date. So earned value is percent of completed work into budget at completion so these are the planned value pv ev and ac we call it ac means actual cost pv means planned value ev means earned value we will measure against pv and ev to get a schedule variance like if earned value is earned value minus planned value it's a schedule variance cost variance earned value minus AC actual cost it's a cost of variance so we will track this schedule variance and cost variance SPI uh, EV divided by PV it's SPI schedule performance index if SPI value is less than one then it's like an underperforming so we it, we have to make sure it's more than one like if earned value divided by plan value should be equal to one or more than one to be an LT project. CPI, cost performance index. So EV divided by AC, that is CPI. CPI is less than one, means spent value is higher than the budget or plan value. So we have to make sure these SPI and CPI are not less than one or if it is less than one we have to have a mitigatory measures and control over the project to make sure the project is beneficial to the stakeholders uh, we will demonstrate in a graph in let's go to the graph okay this av curve if you do if you do notice in the y axis that is project cost and the x axis is the time duration so when the red is like the earn value is over a period of time the um, ashed black line is the data date when we measure at the data date earn value and plan value we ha we are seeing a difference like um, blue and red like uh, we are saying the EV is less than the plan value and actual cost green is higher than the plan uh, plan value in that case 
schedule variance is PV minus AV. Obviously, it is more than one, so it's a uh, schedule variance is doing good. When we compare the CPI, that is uh, cost variance, that is actual cost by EV earned value, it's um, EV minus AC. So it, the cost variance is 2i, EV minus AC. So it's going to the negative figure. So we have to make sure the actual cost is also in the in under the PV plant value. So this blue projection is project at completion and this is projected cost. So by looking at this graph, we are more or less getting an idea of what is cost variance, what is schedule variance. Uh, let's um, go to the demonstration in the Microsoft project. Before that, uh, what we're going to do is, in a live demo, uh, we will take a sample project which will be resource loaded to the activities and we'll set this project as a baseline. Then we'll update uh, actuals periodically and using the inbuilt function, we will generate an AV report so that you could understand the procedure and how to do in uh, Microsoft project. Let's go to the Microsoft project. Mm, okay. So we have um, a tech park infrastructure development and we have parcel one and parcel two area works. And when we notice the resources, in the resource sheet so we have these three resources and it's um, like a labor and engineer and supervisor so for demonstration it could um, we can start assigning these resources directly in the resource uh, column by just clicking like yes for parcel one takeover we require engineer so what is the associated cost so we can um, actually continue to add like um, we had a set a cost per hour like $15 per hour for engineer and it will be calculated or prorated similarly for uh, application also we require engineer so mobilization we continue to assign all the team members the moment I assign, you could notice the um, Gantt chart area and the, um, uh, the resources are displayed. Site clearance, we require labor team and supervisor. Similarly, all this make clearance. Okay, we do require engineer even in all the above activities. Okay. As we continue to assign, the cumulative cost is noticeable. Okay, we require engineer labor team. So, using simple fill down, I have assigned all the resources, and we have this cost set here what oh, sorry i'll cancel this so what is the total cumulative cost assigned to this project 387918 dollars what will i do is i'll go to the project tab and i'll set this as baseline and I click set baseline you can name it i'll just click baseline and i'll do for entire project and click okay now this is a baseline set project and i can uh, showcase the baseline type baseline okay whatever okay this is the baseline color now what will i do is i'll go and insert actual uh, percent complete 
so when i want to update uh, the percent complete so i'll just enter like 100 percent 100 percent okay so the total percent is 70 percent Ninety. So when um, I set this person complete, assuming that I want to notice the um, progress as of uh, April and April, set column baseline cost. Okay. Now I'll go insert actual cost so based on the progress update if you see i have updated 100 percent here then the un actual cost is 100 percent 1590 so all 100 percent when i've done the 90 percent update um it's like uh, 90 percent of this cost then 90 percent of this cost 90 percent 90 percent of this cost so so this is the actual cost value suppose if the duration in the actual finish i'll go on insert actual start and actual finish what i do is so we don't have the projection for actual finish so um so we assuming that we have done this 100 percent but actual finish is longer like instead of 7 it is 15 uh, 14 january but the actual cost would be higher do you know the reason and the reason is simpler due to increase in the duration of seven days the additional seven days cost is added upon baseline cost so that's why this increase suppose i do an, uh, a bit of for 90 percent uh 200 percent for this activity laying of water pipe then the cost would be similar cause the completion date is as per the plan duration suppose i i took a long uh say on then the cost would vary so that is uh depending on uh, calendar as well like say i've done uh instead of 4th uh, march i've done until 8th march so you could see the increase in cost by 600 dollars so this is like um, you're getting the actual cost baseline cost immediately and you could also have the bar showing the uh, progress like a task actual finish you, know, you can select a different color say green so no sorry for this green so you can see the um, actual activities with actual start and finish are changed from the baseline to uh, actual data now uh, we're coming back to the unvalue let's go to the reports we want to see unvalue we are excited to see the what is the unvalue graph so i'll go to the cost in the report i'll just select unvalue for an actual cost whereas two thousand one hundred is excess compared to the uh, plant uh, earned value so that is because we have uh, going back to the Gantt chart we have this 
extra cost over here instead of 19k it's 21k so this is the reason where we are uh, noticing the actual cost against the earned value so coming to the graph plan value is shown in this gray earn value is 90k and value is closely inclined because of uh, only 2k difference let me change the okay. uh, minor is like um, the 50k minus 50k so i'll make it don't major is 25k i'll make you know, 50k i'll make it 20k so, and uh, maximum is 4 to 5 i'll make it 4 5 0 minimum is 0 then coming to the uh, x-axis task so yeah now it's uh, month wise okay November December okay then I go and make it uh, weekly under this go edit okay okay i'll make it weekly okay now we are noticing the weekly trend and the cost so still we have to notice the dc on actual cost so can what what will i do is i'll go and add some more cost variance yeah now we can see the cost variance also on the data date coming to the schedule variance and uh, schedule variance whereas schedule variance we have this trend and spi is like um, 0.2 to 0.4 whereas cpi is uh, less than one so this is all about the earned value graph in the microsoft project we could export these reports or copy paste and we can change the access details as you have noticed so coming back to the task Gantt chart so our actual cost is this one then we we can also include the planned unvalue unvalue method is percent complete we can include the cpi cost performance index spi schedule variance percent as well so um, this is how we can um, do the ev analysis in uh, microsoft project hopefully you i was able to go through all the details and i believe you have learned everything um in the um, related to the evm and uh, the easiest way to do in the microsoft project Thank you.